hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for all your support thank you for always coming back welcome to all my new subscribers guys today i am coming back with um showing you guys how to do custom cutouts um i'll be using canva today um, to create this file that i'll be sending over to get printed Okay guys, to get started, I'll be opening up my Canva software. I currently have a 30, 24 by 36 um, background here that will, the same size I'll be using, but to start a new one, you would go to file, click on create new design, go to custom size, and then in the top there, you would put in the size. I already have it there, so I just click on it. So it's a 24 by 36. Now I'm going to upload my image by pressing upload files. It's going to pull up my folder where I have my saved image. So this one is a sneaker ball. So I'm going to go into my sneaker ball folder. Um, and then once I get to my folder, I'm going to choose the design that I want to upload. <clears throat> so choose it. I'm going to click on that one and press open. Once it's open, it's going to upload into my side screen right here. All I need to do now is click on it and it will automatically get placed on this um, backdrop background. I'm now going to resize it by dragging one of the corner. Because of the way the file is, the width of the file, it won't be able to stretch all the way. So I'll stretch it as big as I can where the dress is still on the actual background so you guys that's pretty much what I did I just stretched it as much as I can for this particular background that I chose and I chose this one because this is the size I'm going to be printing when I send to the print shop so after I do this guys I'm if I'm okay with the size then the next step that I'm going to do is to actually copy this page and mirror the image so in order to do that, I have to now click on that plus sign. You see where the second icon right there on the right? You want to go ahead and click on that to duplicate the page. Once the page is duplicated, now you'll have two images. So the second image you want to do is click on that image and then use this little icon to rotate the image. We're going to rotate the image to 180 degrees so it'll be upside down once you do that then you'll now want to flip the image so you're going to go up to your left hand corner there where it says flip click click on the flip horizontal um, when you click on that it will allow the picture to either flip to the left or flip back to the right um, I would ideally want it to flip to the right so that way it'll be a direct uh, mirror of the image above so as you can see this is how I mirror my images in Canva and now I will go ahead and show you how I download the image um, you want to download this as a PNG file so you want to click on the right hand corner on the share button click on download once you click on download, make sure it's a PNG file, click on the transparent background and what I'll do for the size, I'll, you know, make it a little bit bigger. So the quality is not like pixelated when um, I send it over to get printed. So now my file is downloading, it's going to get saved to a folder. I'll probably just, I'm going to save it as sneaker ball in the sneaker file folder. So it's easy for me to find it and then just save. And now I'm ready to go and order my um my images so i'm gonna now show you how i do that so now it's time to order guys i order from this company stickers banners so i'll go and type in stickers banners.com and then that will pull up the web page um so yeah here it is on the right sticker banners you could just click on the website icon 
and they're pretty good pretty fast shipping and um, there this one is you know new jersey there's one in new jersey it's like two hours away from me so i have the option to pick it up or to get it delivered i usually just get it delivered so when you this is what the website look like guys when you go on here you have the option to choose from a wide variety of items so you they have like the a vinyl backdrop uh, fabric fabric backdrop I'm just signing in because I'm actually placing an order so you would click on the sign in um, icon to sign in here with your your own credentials so now um, since I I'll be ordering cutouts I'm going to scroll over to where it says stickers so these are like some of the options that they have but this is what i want you could either go to stickers or window decals you still have the same options um as far as like for if you want to do a window sticker like a see-through sticker or an adhesive banner i usually click on the adhesive one because you want it to be something that you could you know remove um so here when we get to this part right here guys it's already selected as an adhesive banner so now what i need to do is just go down and select the size and please bear in mind these sizes are in feet not inches so two feet that will be 24 inches and then three feet will be 36 inches so that's why i'm clicking on two times three so and it showed that my you know that the yellow icon at the top shows what the shape is so then i'll go to you know choose my file it'll bring me to the my download folder i'll search for my sneaker ball um folder and from that folder i will select the image images that i downloaded so click on here select the image that i want to print i'm just going to choose this one um so here it is it's a png file once i do that i'll just add it to the cart and then from there you could you know here quantity you could put how many you want to order now if, if for the mirror image i have to um put each one individually okay so each one would be a separate order and see guys this is the price 15 dollars for 24 by 36 obviously the size of my image is not going to be 24 by 36 here you have the choice to get a proof of what it will look like or no proof um you select the state that you're in here so they could calculate the shipping i'm in new jersey here you see they have stores in georgia new jersey texas we could pick up california and then you have all the ups and fedex options i usually just do ups slash fedex ground because i'm in new jersey and there's one in new jersey so i get it relevantly quick so yeah then you just check it out and that's it so guys i just got these in these are the actual cutouts these are on 24 by 36 um prints out so obviously um these are like the big size <clears throat> these um are a little smaller these are probably around i have to measure probably around a little bit over 24 inches but see i did left i did the mirror so this way when i make the centerpieces it will be on both sides so it, i hate seeing centerpieces where one side is like so pretty and have an image and then the other side is just blank so yeah but yeah so I have five tables and these are the centerpieces. These are the colors. She wanted shade of pink with silver and white. So that's why I chose these colors. I have these in a lot of different colors. So yeah, stay tuned guys as we continue to work on these. I'm gonna cut them out now. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna cut these out. They're on adhesive they have an adhesive back in so i'm gonna cut these out i'm gonna put them on top of a foam board and then cut around it on you know cut it out on the foam board and then i'll flip it over once one side is completed and add the mirrored image on the other side and then once i'm done with that i'll add some um i'll probably put it on like a dowel stick with like a base or maybe like a box on the bottom. I haven't like completed completed my 
thought about what's gonna go in the bottom but it's more than likely it's gonna be a dowel stick um inside of something whether it be a box or like a base or something like that so just stay tuned guys and keep watching for the final look okay guys so i know the last part that i showed you was just the actual printouts so here is it being cut out uh this gray one our silver one is already on a foam board on both sides okay and i have some little skewer sticks inside or you could call them dowel sticks but they're like the really small ones so something that could go like in, get inserted inside of the foam board so you definitely don't want to use a dollar tree uh, or a dollar store foam board for this you need something more sturdy so i got my foam boards at hobby lobby unfortunately they when i went they did not have the bigger size so i end up with a 20 by 28 which these are um these are actually 26 inches however because of the the width of the skirt i had to like put them on an angle so yeah i end up having to like piece in the, the leg part as you can see you can see my little crease here so um this one i cut out i'm about to do this one so i'll do i'll show you guys the process and this is one that i've already done i am um, so what i did was i got these boxes from Abby lobby as well these are like picture um storage boxes they were like 2.99 at hobby lobby it's perfect because it kind of give you the look of the Nike box so what I'm gonna do on my Cricut I'm gonna cut some Nike signs and maybe like some other detail I'll put it on top of the box so basically what I did was cut the top part of the box like cutting it going across and I insert the stick down inside and inside the box I have like foam um, floral foam so that that goes inside of the floral foam so it stays steady and then I just reinforce it with some hot glue and then so yeah that's it up here i'll probably just gonna do like a hole at the top here so i could tie some balloons some helium balloons from it but yeah guys that's what it looks like it's pretty big centerpiece um definitely a statement piece these two are gonna be a different design they are a little taller but because i did not get the right size um foam board I'm going to have to cut them to fit the foam board. So they might not be as tall. But yeah guys, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm gonna now go ahead and show you how I apply it to the board. Hey guys, so like I said before, I mirrored my image. So, so you can see better. Okay, so this is my board from Hobby Lobby. This one I got for $1.99. The, the bigger ones are usually around $4.99 or $5.99. And I'm just cutting it on top of a board so it doesn't, you know, cut through my carpet. So I'm going to start. I already cut, like you see, I already cut these out. So the first step you want to do is cut these out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to line this up on the board. So this is kind of like how I had to do it because the board is not big enough. See how this part is hanging off? So now I'm going to have to cut piece and attach it there. But this is, I just want to see that it lines up on the board like this. And then what I'm going to do now is just peel the back end off slowly and just kind of just smooth it out across the board. Let's turn it this way so it's a little easier to handle. So what I do is... Um, the good thing about this place that I got my things printed at, my um, images, the um, you, I ordered the removable vinyl because I want to be able to remove it if I make a mistake. You know, so what I do is I just pull this back and just crease it so it's not in my way. Okay, make sure your surface doesn't have anything on it. I'm just gonna line it back up before it starts. Okay. So what you wanna do, you wanna gently put your 
spread out down and just take your time and smooth it across. I actually have um, one of those squeak, um, I forgot what they're called. Anyways, you know what I mean. It's the thing that you use to smooth it out. But you could also use a hand because you don't want to use anything too harsh on the surface because that is going to damage it. Now this one is pretty simple. Um, you just basically you just pull and flatten. Anywhere there's a bubble, you just press down really hard on it, and the bubble will come out. Um, but you just want to take your time, do it in little small sections. You don't want to do like a whole um, section at a time. Like you don't want to do a big part because you don't want to. You're trying to avoid bubbles and all that. So just take your time and just smooth it out on the board. Pull, smooth it out. And while you're doing this, guys, you should be able to feel if there's bubbles. Um, sometimes if I get a bubble, I will pull this back up off the board. You want to be careful with that because you could actually rip the board underneath. And then if you do that, then that adhesive part is now gone. So you want to be very careful when you do this. So I'm just going to finish it now. And guys, um, I know these are very attractive centerpieces, but they are not cheap, okay? It's not cheap to make this at all, I believe. Well, this place that I got this printed at, because if I was supposed to go to either CVS or Walgreens, because they also do adhesive posters, I would probably be paying around, for the 34, 24 by 36 that I ordered from here, I'll probably be paying around 40 something dollars, or even if I go to Staples. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for around 40 something, maybe 50 something at Staples. So far, Staples is the, the most expensive one that I've gone to. Um, Walgreens I like Walgreens and CVS because um, they actually always have some type of coupon that is like 40% or 60% off so that's actually good but so far the best deal that I've gotten is from this place sticker banners um, and they're pretty fast like I'm in Jer New Jersey and they're based out of New Jersey so I get my posters overnight or my backdrops that's where I order my printed backdrops and I literally get them overnight so this is a good fast option so that's there no okay, guys so, nice bubble free okay so now and I have this part I'm just gonna cut a piece of um the foam board off and fix this part back here. So I'm just gonna flip it over. Okay. I'm just taking a piece of foam board from the previous one that I did, and I'm just gonna layer, lay it on top. You just wanna make sure the foam board, the part that you're laying, is big enough. I'm gonna go all the way and make sure it's nice and tight. Still coming. They are definitely coming.
Okay, guys, so I'm just going in with some tape to reinforce. Uh, reinforce where I attach um, that piece. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut around the outline um, to get the white area off that I don't want. So you got to make sure. This is an X-Acto knife. You could buy this at Hobby Lobby or any craft store. You could buy at Walmart. Um, you want to make sure that you change the blade often, guys, because if the blades are dull, your edges are not going to be clean. So this is what I'll be using. And I'll start off with this side. <clears throat> so we're just going to repeat the same process here. This side is a little bit more difficult to put on. It almost, almost never lines up all the way. So we'll see.
this is what I'm using. Let's see if I can see. Wood pile dowels. Okay. Um, Hobby Lobby. It's $3.99. So I'm basically just cutting this in half. And I'm just going to see I have some kind of thickness from this board. So I'm just going to insert it as far as I can inside without damaging the outside. Okay. Okay. That's one. Okay. <clears throat> Alright guys, so this is the box. Storage photo box. And this is a 7.3 inch times 4.25 inch. I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. It's $2.99. Okay. I'm just going to take this side piece off and cover it with like a sticker or something. But that's the box. This is the foam I'm using. I'm cutting in and put inside the box, and then the poles are gonna get the dolls gonna get inserted inserted into this. my hot glue gun let's put some hot glue on this this is just to hold up that uh, the second piece of foam Second piece, this is gonna get glued on top. So this one's gonna be flush with the box and then this one is just the tip is gonna be on the box. Right, 
push. This one I need a little That part stick is still too long. All the way back. Okay, guys, for this Nike sign, I just went to Google and printed it, um, downloaded from the Google Images make sure you get it into like a png format and i just uploaded it into my um 
my Cricut Design Studio and just cut it on the, the Cricut machine. So you guys, once you weed the excess vinyl from the, the cutout, you want to take your transfer tape and put it on top and, you know, put pressure on it. Just you get, you could use any kind of, um, flat, um, equipment or, you know, this thing I got from the cricket, it came with the cricket machine. You could just, you know, go over it and just to make sure it adhere to the, um, transfer tape and then you'll take your transfer tape and you place it on the box and then once again you'll just put pressure on it to make sure it get transferred over to the box after you've done that then you'll just take the transfer tape off and yeah your your item will be done so yeah guys just keep watching i'm about to show you what the final look um is but yeah hopefully this tutorial help a lot of you guys i know a lot of people have been interested to find out how i made these so i hope this step-by-step -step, um tutorial was helpful so yeah guys here is the final look this is what it looked like at the setup we added a little bit of balloons in between just to hide the excess of any of the doll sticks that were showing like i said i did reinforce them with hot glue so this way they stand sturdy throughout the event. But yeah, guys, that's about it. So please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments below. You can leave any suggestions that you have in the comments. Any videos that you would like us to post, um, I will get around to it. So yeah, guys, once again, thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.